Welcome to the Luxrite VMS video tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the process of configuring cameras in Luxrite VMS. There are two ways to add cameras to Luxrite VMS. The first way is by auto discovery and the second way is to manually add the cameras. First let's begin with auto discovery. First, right-click on the server you would like to add the cameras to. Then in the menu, select Tasks. Another menu will appear. Then select Automatically Discover Network Video Devices. The Luxrite DVR Automatic Camera Discovery Wizard will pop up. Please click Next to continue. Click on Scan Network Adapter Address Range if you would like to search devices in range for selected network adapter. You can also scan IP Address Range if you would like to locate devices with specific IP details. After selecting Option, click Next. Please specify network ports to scan network devices on. Then press next to continue. In this step of the wizard you will provide network credentials. Please type in all login credentials for the scanned devices. Type credentials as shown in the diagram. After typing in credentials, click on the next button to continue. Now the wizard will look for available cameras. This may take a few minutes. During the discovery process you will see partial results populating. You may click next to proceed with the partial results or wait for the discovery wizard to complete. As soon as the discovery process will be finished, you will see a list of discovered devices that were capable to work with credentials that you used during the auto search. Click next to continue with the discovered devices. This step will show you a preview of configured devices. You can find device settings by clicking on the device and hitting properties. After finish, click Next to continue. The auto discovery wizard is now completed. Please click Finish button to exit out of the wizard. All newly discovered devices are located in the structure pane. Now we will manually add a camera to Luxrite VMS. Please right click on video in the structure pane list. After right clicking on video, please select menu item camera setup wizard. Now you will see the camera setup wizard pop up. Please click next to continue. Please select Network Video Device, IP Camera Video Server, and click Next to continue. Click on the Properties button. Now select Corresponding Manufacturer from the Manufacturers list. Select the proper model from the list after selecting Manufacturer. Now click the Apply button. Now you will get multiple tabs. Please click on Access tab to configure access details. Now please enter all device access settings such as network host name or IP address, port number, username and password, then click Apply. 
Next, please click on Video Input tab. In this tab, we can set up multi-channel and multi-stream devices as well as change operation of device. You can select a video source for multi-channel device here. Now you'll select the operation mode. If using MPEG-4 or H.264 compression, you would select either RTSP or MPEG-4 or H.264. If you're using MJPEG and JPEG, you would select those corresponding. Now please click on Configuration tab. The Camera Configuration tab allows you to change the camera configuration. You can leave default to use current camera configuration. Please click on the Audio tab. The Audio Configuration tab will allow you to select internal audio sources if available, external audio sources if available, or no audio source as a default. Please click on RTSP tab. The RTSP tab will only show if selecting RTSP as operation mode in video input tab. Use this tab when RTSP port differs from the default settings of 554. Now we are at the PTZ control tab. Choose device PTZ control type between built in and external using the options below. Use Properties button to configure selected external PTZ control. Now when all the settings are set, let's give a name to the camera and proceed with the camera setup wizard. Click the Next button to continue. At the motion analysis step in the camera setup wizard, you can activate motion detection. Please select to use the motion detector for stream being set up, then click on properties to configure motion detection. Now we're at the source tab in the motion detector device properties. You can select default for camera detected motion priority, you can also use camera detection motion priority if the camera's motion is absent. Or you can use camera detection motion only to use the motion information if available from the camera. Or software motion detection priority to use software based motion detection. To enable camera motion detection, you also have to enable motion detection from the camera as well via the web browser. Also, you can remember camera motion detection consumes resources from the camera, whereas software motion detection consumes resources from the CPU of the machine. Here we're at the Format tab in the Motion Detector Properties. Here's where you can configure software motion analysis. Now we're at the Software Exclusions tab. Here we can set up an area where we want to limit motion detection in the area. Also note that these settings are useful when using software motion detection only. In the Exclusion tab you can see that we can exclude small parts that will not trigger motion such as trees, cars, and other objects. We can also exclude a larger area concentrating on a smaller area for detail. Now we are at the Sensitivity tab. Please note that these settings are useful when using software-based motion detection. 
you can adjust sensitivity by sliding to the left for minimal sensitivity or sliding to the right for maximum sensitivity. You can hit apply when you're done. This is just a default warning pop-up showing motion detection accuracy and sensitivity are dependent on image quality coming from the camera. You can click OK. Please click on the next button to continue with the camera setup wizard. Now we're at the data recording step in the camera setup wizard. When using motion triggered recording, it's essential to visit advanced properties. Please click on the link. Now you will see a properties pop up. Please click on motion and events tab. Click on the checkbox to enable motion controlled recording. You can also constrain recording frame rate or record frames in motion of absence or alert event. Please note, it's also unsafe while using MPEG-4 compression H.264 compression because of unwanted archive results. Please click on Time Lapse tab. Time lapse will allow you to limit the amount of recorded frames. Please click on Storage Quota tab. In the Storage Quota tab, you can enable individual limits on the amount of stored data or enable an individual limit on duration of stored data. Now this is where you could select video for recording data. You could also select video motion information and audio if available from the camera. If you would like to use schedule recording, please click on the checkbox use schedule recording. When enabling schedule recording, it will give you an option to configure schedule. In Manage Schedule, you can configure schedule recording where you can set up what time or what action you require Luxrite VMS to do. There are four profiles which you can configure your schedule. First is record all, the second is do not record, the third is record on motion, and the fourth is time lapse record. Once you have prepared your schedule, just click OK button. Please click next to continue setup. Here is the action summary where you can review selected action details. After reviewing, click the next button. The wizard is now completed. Please click on the finish button. Let's go back a bit and set up a multi-channel camera. In the structure pane to the left, you can right click on the camera and click on camera setup wizard. Please click next to continue. Select the camera from the list and click Next. Now click on the Properties button. Please click on Video Input tab. In the Video Input tab in the Camera Properties dialog box, you can see the video source selection for multi-channel devices. Here you can see the channel that is currently used. When clicking on the drop-down box, 
you can see any other available channels. To create a duplicate entry that will allow streaming of other channels, just press Create. Type a new device entry title and then drop down the video source tab to select required channel. When finished typing title and selecting source, click OK button. The new device entries were successfully created. You can click OK and also you can create entries for all other channels as well the same way. This concludes our process of configuring cameras in LuxRiot.